Think about how many years, months, hours, seconds you have wasted. We sleep one third of our fucking lives and we think we can take fucking days off. We think we have the right to sit back and give ourselves fucking options on which way we're gonna go in life. Am I gonna run today? Am I gonna work out today while it's Christmas? It's New Year's. Do you think time gives a fuck that it's Christmas, that it's New Year's? You give yourself too many fucking options. Time is running out. You keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you wanna do. You're just gonna run out of time. Stop following the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to. Short-term thinking says, the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says, one workout doesn't matter. I can skip it. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. And they definitely don't move you toward your overall strategic goals. The more short-term decisions you make, decisions that are based on that immediate gratification, decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction, the further from the path you will stray. Don't do that. Think strategic, think long-term. You need tactical wins. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always gonna equal two. Two plus two is gonna equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, is gonna pay off. What's your standard? I don't care what it is, but what is your standard? I got some standards. I've been waking up at three o'clock in the morning since I was 19 years old. That's a non-negotiable. Every morning at three, I'm up. That's my standard. I'm telling you, set a standard. You can't be no champion if you don't have a standard. The men who set a standard are always the ones who are champions. As a champion, we ain't trying to cut corners. We ain't trying to see how much we can do and still be successful. I got a standard. I want to be the best. Finish. Effort is not good enough. Ain't nobody paying you for effort. You don't get paid for effort. You don't get paid for trying. Execute. Set the standard, then raise the standard, then uphold the standard every single day. You going up against other champions? You think you're going to get 50%? You think you're going to get 70%? You think you're going to get 80%? You're good. You're real good at what you do. But some of you don't finish. The real beast. The real beast is when their legs give out. The real beast when they tired. The real beast find a way to pull something out when nobody else ain't got nothing. Success is never on discount. Success is never on sale. You never see Rolls Royce say, please, come buy us. Why? Because a Rolls Royce, when they make it, they make it one at a time. And they take their time and they handcraft it. It never goes on sale. And some of y'all in this room, you want your dream to go on sale. It's never going to go on sale. But if you want to be average, they give an average out. They got discounts on goods. But if you want to be great, you got to pay blood, sweat, tears, and you got to pay every single we all have two people. We have the easy voice, which is that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Turn up this voice and listen to the truth. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say, F you, uh-uh, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says, F he's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this thing out. 
So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. You should f***ing quit. You should quit f***ing quitting. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be f***ing hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these